Okay, we're starting day three of the quit. Today really is a pivotal day. Today's either going to be a lot better, it's going to be a lot worse, or it's going to be the same. It's one of those three. And again, no one has a clue to which one it's going to be. Better, worse, the same. Bottom line. But today is a much nicer goal than the previous days. Reason being, we're saying get through today. One more day. Good day, bad day. I don't know. Honestly, it's not like I'm saying this like in the back of my, my mind. I know, oh, it's really going to be worse. I just don't want to tell you that. No, today may be great. Today may be rough. I don't know. But get through today, and it's going to ease up. That's a much nicer goal than the one we gave you day one of this program. The first day of the program, we said, make it through today. With the full understanding that we don't know what tomorrow's going to hold, so tomorrow might even be worse. Now we're saying get through one more day, one 24-hour period, good or bad, and it will get better. Again, it is a much nicer goal. If you had a worse day the first day, if that was the worst, and then yesterday, the second day, was really pretty good, the odds are it will be better today. Withdrawal usually gets worse and worse and worse and then kind of eases up. And again, it could throw a curve and get bad on the third day after the you know second day improved, but normally it doesn't. Withdrawal usually gets worse and worse and like I say, it just eases up. If you had a harder day yesterday than the first day, well, then I have good news and bad news for you. <laughs> the, the good news is the rest of today may be fine. It may not be that bad of a problem. But again, i got to give you the alternative bad news. Today still might be worse. I don't know. But again, get through today, and it really will be better, and it will improve a lot physically once you get through that third-day period. Understand, at this point, you've invested time. You've got 48 hours without a cigarette. You've invested effort. You may have invested pain. That can happen in people when they quit smoking if they get withdrawals. So you put a lot of time and effort and maybe pain into this. One puff, one puff, and it throws the whole effort out the window. Hey, if a puff can put a person back to smoking after a decade, if a puff can put a person back to smoking after three or four or five decades, guess what it's going to do to a person who's been off for 48 hours. It's going to take that quit and throw it out the window. So you've already put in this effort. Make it worthwhile. I will attach again a number of um, video links and a few related articles and links uh, on a page at the end of this video and uh, try to go through that stuff today. I think you will find it really helpful. But realize you're very close of being through the worst of this one way or the other, and it may already be over. You may find today to be a wonderful day. It can happen. So go through the videos, read the related texts, and again, to just get through now to a point where it really will ease up, you know, and within the next 24 hours, continue to stick with the commitment you made to never take another puff.